Good morning. Peace and blessings. Happy Tuesday. I'm the Moon Mama. How y'all doing today? Well, it is Tuesday and I keep every, I notice every morning I'm like, well, and the reason I do that is because I'm aware that the energy is entirely different, but the physical environment hasn't changed. So I'm aware that I'm going to say something that might feel a little disconnected um, with Mercury in retrograde and um, with all of the new energy, like we just had that new moon in Aquarius. So we really are in a new, we're in a new frequency and it looks the same, like, you know, like the 3D reality hasn't changed. Um, but the energetics have changed. And if you can just think about, you know, when a woman gets pregnant, she's pregnant at the moment of conception, but you might not start to see the difference in her body or in her life for months, right? Um, and then as that child grows in her body and becomes a human being and all that, then you see the life really take on, you see the 3D life really change drastically. So that's kind of what we're in right now. We're all pregnant. <laughs> and because I read the astrology, I can see that um, I can see the energy is completely different. We just haven't, we haven't caught up to it yet on the external. So I want to start by saying that, that it's important to really recognize that the world is completely different than it was before. You can't see it, um, but it's true. And I encourage you to be doing your work to meet yourself um, at the appointed time to be able to usher in the new 3D <laughs> from the energetics that we are in at this moment. Um, so with that, I want to invite you all to register for the Mercury Retrograde class. Gabrielle Zelina is going to be coming back. This woman is so incredible. Like I, let, let me just say, first of all, I'm surrounded by incredible, magical, um, magical, mystical, sacred women who live their lives in this way that is not like anything we've been taught. Like women who are truly wild, women who are truly tapped into their sensuality and sexuality, who are who are um who are living outside of the of the rules and the um the the restrictions that women are generally given like these are of course many of the women I know they might have partners they might be married but one of my girlfriends has two husbands <laughs> you know what i mean it's like i've been in relationships open relationships for the last decade and so it creates a different sort of mindset it opens up your heart and your mind in this way when you don't conform to the to the um constructs that are that are that the mainstream does and so what happens is we access this different energy these different mindsets these different powers that peop that if you are very um conventional you won't be able to access because you're too low to the ground energetically basically um and so Gabrielle Zelina is going to be with us tomorrow. She is like, she's what I consider the fairy visionary woman. And she's this beautiful young sister. She has three children. Um, she has a partner. You know, she's she lives her life in this very goddess-like way. And she's coming tomorrow again to do a ritual for us for the Mercury Retrograde. It's important that we do rituals around creating visions for our lives. What are we up to? And that's what I mean when I say the energy is completely different, but it hasn't touched the 3D reality yet. Well, how we get it to touch the 3D reality is by creating a vision. You create a container for the energy to come into so that it will know what to do. And you have to do something different than what you've been doing because otherwise you'll create old patterns. So this work allows you with Mercury retrograde to look at yourself. Like I know for me, oh, this Mercury retrograde in Aquarius is brutal, but I'm working it. And what it's doing, it's asking me to look at the places in my life that conflict with my divine beingness, the places in my life that keep me out of my, um, 
out of my divinity, out of my wisdom, out of my, that I adopted in my childhood, right? So for me, one of the things I adopted in my childhood was abdicating my power to men, trusting them more than I trust myself, right? Isn't that amazing? Or, um, or I have been a type of person who will um, give all of my resources and energy and gifts to people because I want to be liked. I want to feel valuable. So I will give myself away. And so those are some of the behaviors that have conflicted with my divine wisdom. And so I'm having to look at those things and move them. Um, so I encourage you to come and do the Mercury Retrograde class so that you can begin to see the aspects of yourself that are so subtle. I'm telling you, you can't see this stuff unless you're doing the work. There's no way to do it. And you have to do the work because we are going into a new place. And so the old stuff is done. It is done. So come and join us. Right now I'm sitting here doing my daily badgie steam that I'm going to be doing through the Virgo new moon because I'm a Virgo. So I'm really releasing a lot of stuff. And um, I'm working with cayenne, um, which is about energy and um, and attraction. I'm also working with juniper, which is also a um, a Mars herb, bay leaves, which is about magic and and psychic abilities. Um, and these are th this the energy, like the way we the way we can evolve ourselves as women is through this womb work is we can heal ourselves because everything is held in the womb. So this is why I use the vagus steams and men can use them too. That's what I did some research um, for the person here. I eat scripts. They, yes, men can do them too. And they, it's the herbs that you really want to get. You want the herbs to heal your body. And so absolutely, I think men should do them. So I'm doing this just to to ready myself for this Virgo full moon because the Virgo full moon coming is about health and how we take care of ourselves and how we honor our internal reality and how we literally are creating systems that allow ourselves to evolve and be perfected. So today's astrology, did I say everything? Register for the Mercury Retrograde class. Wouldn't it be great if a hundred of you register for the Mercury Retrograde class? I think that would be so fun because then we get to hold all this energy together and we get to literally help one another through just through energy, propel ourselves forward by sharing our understanding, by sharing our process, our journeys, by doing the rituals together, we all move forward and it's a beautiful thing. So that would be fantastic. And also the Rebirthing Your Authentic Self course, which includes the Mercury Retrograde course, but it's a year long course. So if you, cho if you choose to do that, which I highly recommend, um, that will really help you because we are using that course to do the daily rituals that are needed each month to bring us more profoundly into the age of Aquarius, to help us see the things that have been blocking. The stuff is so subtle, the belief systems, the generational patterns, the karma, the, um, you know, the wounds, all of that stuff. We're going to be facing all of that stuff during this um, during this year, and I have incredible guest speakers coming. Um, like yesterday, I just secured Chef Amira, and she's going to be coming and talking about the alchemy of food. Um, she won't be doing that until July or time, but every month I'm going to have a guest speaker come in and bring some incredible wisdom to you to help us understand how our bodies really work, how our minds really work, how we relate, how this feminine energy is magical and powerful. So that's the best class to register for if you really want to understand yourself and come into new ways of being. And with that now, the astrology for today, I'm sorry, I've spent so much time talking about these other things. Um, but the astrology for today, today the moon is at the... 24th or right now the 24th degree of Aries the 24th degree of Aries is about regeneration 24 is about regeneration um actually that's not true the 24th degree is about humility oh humility humility and here's the thing about humility humility is an interesting energy because we often think it means that we have to act like we're not powerful or we have to act like we're less than we are. But that's not what humility really is. Humility means understanding that you are a part of something greater, 
that who you are is significant and necessary, but it is in complement to others. It is not just you alone. And let me tell you, that's a hard one for me because I was I have an orphan archetype, um, meaning I, I wasn't raised in an environment where I had to really think about other people or make sure, um, I did, you know, it was it's just a very interesting sort of deal. But understanding that your energy, even if you're a loner, if you're not somebody who's working with other people, you matter. Like the sun matters and the moon matters and Mars matters. They all are working together. Not one thing can really function without the other. So wherever you are, this humility at the 24th degree of Aries is understanding Yes, you are powerful and that your power is significant to everyone around you. So in this, right, here's the thing. When you understand you are valuable and necessary and a part of something greater, don't hold out on your gifts and talents. Become fully actualized because we're needing your gifts. We're needing you to be true to yourself so that you can add the value that only you can add. That's Aries at the 24th degree, the moon. Um, and it's that internal thing. So it's like really understanding, having the confidence, having the, the pride in yourself, having the courage to stand for yourself, trusting yourself, loving yourself just as you are because you're necessary and valuable. And then today is a Mars day and Mars is the planet of attraction and it is at the 21st degree of Taurus. And Mars and Taurus is an interesting energy because like I said, we are seeing that, like all the energy is different, but the 3D reality hasn't changed. So this is the 3D reality. And so it's just this energy, like literally bringing your, um, what it is you're doing, your visions, your, your feelings, like feeling into what you are, this energy, like feel into the energy and what do you want to make with it? What do you want to do with it? I know for me, I am really being very intentional with my energy and what I'm thinking about and where I'm putting my time. I am mapping out my calendar for the entire year. I am creating my courses and creating all of the things that I need that I really am intending on giving birth to at the appropriate time. And so this Mars at the 21st degree is about harmony. And harmony is... Harmony is an aspect of our planet here, but it's like all things are working together. And it's not unlike the first with the 24th degree, which is the humility that you understand that you have a place that's necessary. Well, harmony says that what you do is in service to others and it's in service to the planet. Everything is working together. Everything is working together. And when we're intentional, everything works together for our highest and best good. Nothing can hurt, harm, or endanger, endanger you when you understand the alchemy of harmony. So even if you're going through something challenging or painful or undesirable, even that too has harmony. So with Mars and Taurus um, and the moon and Aries, we really just want to be aware of our own selves, right? This doesn't have much to do with others. Be aware of our own selves, what we bring, who we are. Um, our value, how necessary we are, and then take actions from that place when it is appropriate. All right, so I look forward to seeing many of you in the Mercury Retrograde class. We're having the live class tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We already have one ritual that is recorded. The astrology is also available. We're doing um, bath rituals, just things to really help us navigate through this energy in a way that isn't kicking our butts. I know I'm feeling a little bit disoriented in this Mercury retrograde. So we have until the Mercury retrograde shadow ends March 13th. So we have a little bit of time. So let's stay the course so that we can really begin to catch the visions that are for us. All right. Peace and blessings. I'm the Moon Mama. Bye-bye.